Ho'oponopono is an ancient Hawaiian prayer that translates to make it right. It is a powerful way to cleanse ourselves of the tightness of guilt or shame or ill will toward ourselves or others. Much like the rain cleanses the earth, these words cleanse our soul. It is a way to open up. It is a path to forgiveness. Use the power of your imagination and attention to sink deep into this peaceful space. As we begin, focus on the four phrases of Ho'oponopono. I am sorry. Place your hands on your heart and feel the warmth of these words radiate from within you. Please forgive me. Feel this forgiveness move through you. unconditional love. Thank you. Rest in gratitude.
contemplate. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. forgive me. I love you. Thank you. forgive me. I love you. Thank you.
deepest source of unconditional love. Every cell of your body fills with forgiveness, compassion, and peace. You are in alignment with your highest self. sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Continue to take this experience with you throughout the day. This experience of lightness and peace and harmony. sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Express your love and kindness. Know this is truth. Namaste. Vegas. At CSL Greater Las Vegas, it is our mission to inspire spiritual discovery through community connection, exploration, and celebration. Before we begin this celebration service, let's all join in and sing our opening song together.
day for a celebration service. Let us all affirm right here and right now that love is a bright idea. I'm Kelly Marshall, a licensed practitioner here at Center for Spiritual Living, Greater Las Vegas. And it is my pleasure to be here with you as we experience this uplifting celebration service together. Throughout this service, if you feel a need for prayer, a prayer and blessing for you, a family member, or a friend, then please go to our website and select our prayer request. Prayer and meditation are two very powerful spiritual traditions here in our community. Know that licensed spiritual practitioners are deeply committed to supporting you through prayer. We are here for you. Please feel free to call on us. As a matter of fact, even as I speak, two practitioners are providing spiritual support right now for you, for me, for our entire community. They are holding us in deep spiritual, loving care from their homes by sitting in meditation during service. We thank Judy Poteet and Bobby Williams for holding high watch for each one of us today. And now, let us take a moment to consider this week's affirmation. You may wish to jot it down or take a picture of it and keep it with you as a source of inspiration throughout the week. I'll read the affirmation and then we'll enter into contemplation together, after which I'll give the invocation. I am joyful in my community. I am joyful in my community. As God is all there is, I recognize this one universal spiritual truth that the power and presence of spirit is within each and every one of us. I know that this one is pure peace, infinite love, intelligence, and right action. As we come together with this unified singular consciousness, we create a space of peace, harmony, freedom, and infinite possibility. We come together today from around the world to experience divine wisdom and creative intelligence in the most beautiful ways. As I affirm the truth of who we are, I express gratitude for this perfect day this loving community, this experience, and the presence of all who are here. And so it is. Breathe. Give out, I let love. 
Life is a journey, not a destination. There are no mistakes, just chances we've taken. Lay down your regrets, cause all we have is now. Wake up in the morning and get out of bed. Start making a mental list in my head. Of all of the things that I am grateful for. Early in the morning, it's the dawn of a new day. New hopes, new dreams, new ways. I opened up my eyes and I opened up my mind and I wonder how life will surprise me today. Early in the morning, it's the dawn of a new day. New hopes, new dreams, new ways. I opened up my heart and I'm going to do my part and make this a positively beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Life is a challenge, not a competition. You can still smell the roses and be on a mission. Just take a moment, get in touch with your heart. Sometimes you feel like you've got something to prove. Remind yourself that there's only one you. Just take a moment and get thanks for who you are. Yeah, yeah. Early in the morning, it's the dawn of a new day. New hopes, new dreams, new ways. I opened up my eyes and I opened up my mind and I wonder how life will surprise me today. Early in the morning, it's the dawn of a new day. New hopes, new dreams, new ways. I opened up my heart and I'm gonna do my part and make this a positively beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, oh, a beautiful day, such a beautiful day. Let's make this so wonderful, let's make this so powerful, let's make this a beautiful day. I open up my heart and gonna do my part and make this a positively beautiful day. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Center for Spiritual Living Greater Las Vegas. My name is Reverend Laura Hallett, and it is my pleasure to be the spiritual leader of this amazing community here in Southern Nevada. If you are joining us from somewhere else in the world this morning, we are so delighted to have you here with us. You know, sometimes I'm just overwhelmed by the amazing technology that we have that allows us to do this, to connect so deeply and so easily, no matter how far apart we are. Thank you all for bringing your consciousness to our service today. I'd like to begin this morning with a little gratitude by acknowledging some of our community members who are in service here today. First off, thank you to our practitioners. We had Kelly Marshall give us that beautiful meditation this morning and then the invocation that just sets the tone for our time together. And then we have practitioners, Judy Petit and Bobby Williams, who are sitting high watch from their homes, holding us in that consciousness of deep peace and love. Thank you so much for your service. I'd like to acknowledge our music team, just led by Justin Vogel, and uh, our special uh, vocalist for today, Melissa Allen, for the beautiful musical inspiration that they are bringing us this morning. And as always, a special thanks goes out to our amazing media team led by Joe Blom. They work so hard to bring us these beautiful visuals uh, for our services each morning, and we are just blessed by all of this. 
Honestly, we're a truly, truly a blessed community with this heart of service that we have represented in these individuals. And I'd like to extend a special thank you to all of you for being here this Sunday morning, watching your services from home. If you're a first time visitor, we are so delighted to have you here with us. Each month on the third Sunday of, of the month, we have a live service at um, Abstin Elementary School. And then we broadcast our remaining services live on Sunday mornings on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to find out more about what's happening here at CSLGLV, please go to our website. It's www.cslglv and sign up for our newsletter. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And while you're on our YouTube channel today, I invite you to click on the subscribe button below the video so you'll get the notices of all our broadcasted services, meditations, and musical inspiration. As many of you are aware, we're in the process of buying our new spiritual home in Las Vegas. The building that we've purchased is completely finished on the outside, and we have the opportunity to build the inside just the way that we want it to be. We anticipate being able to have our new services and um, be in our new building sometime this fall. And we want to keep you informed and, th and involved throughout the entire process. So each week I'll be bringing you a recap of where we are on our journey of becoming the new Center for Spiritual Living in Greater Las Vegas. So currently we're in that phase of a purchase where our offer has been accepted and we are doing the necessary inspections and consultations with lawyers and contractors. We're getting the bids that we need to um, have to um, uh, meet the requirements of our bylaws for each contractor. And then we are also investigating the contractors uh, with the Better Business Bureau and the Contractors Board and uh, seeing what who would be the best choice for our community. You know, in our philosophy, we have learned that it is together we are much better than any one of us could ever be individually. And so we know that in order for CSL GLV, for this new thing that we are becoming here in Southern Nevada, that we have to do this together. We have to become, we have to come together to do this and to allow this, um, Center for Spiritual Living in Greater Las Vegas to be the most magnificent expression takes all of us. So, you know, like they say, it takes a village to bring it all together. And we want the input from everybody in our community. Those of you who are in person with us, those of you who attend online, we want to know what you're thinking, what, what it is that you value and what you find important in a, having a new spiritual home for us. And so to that end, I'm creating a series of community meetings where we'll come together around different topics to get the full input of everyone. These meetings are going to be held online using our Zoom platform. So please watch for our e-blast and your monthly newsletter for more details about the upcoming meetings. These are very exciting times, my friends, and we want you to be fully a part of it. So here at Centers for Spiritual Living Greater Las Vegas, we are using the um, themes from Center, the Centers for Spiritual Living Global themes for 2022. And the theme is Living Everyday Wonder. And so this month, we have been looking at the idea of play. Each month, we take a different life structure and we work through um, how to bring more of that into our lives and to experience that wonder. If we are living everyday wonder, we want to find it in all areas of our lives. And so this month, we are looking at play and the importance of play in our lives and how um, we can take this time to look at the lighter side of spirituality. You know, spirituality doesn't always have to be really serious stuff. It can be profound and it can be fun. You know, each week I like to start by going back to our basic principles. And the principle that we're working with this month is comes from our Declaration of Principles by Ernest Holmes. He's our founder. And the statement is, we believe that heaven is within us and that we experience it to the degree that we become conscious of it. But we don't believe that heaven is some outside location that we have to strive to get to. We believe that we created in our, our own heaven through our understanding of the principles and our applications of the practices and actually bringing that stuff into real life experiences within, our, within ourselves. We believe that heaven is within us and we experience it to the degree that we become conscious of it. And it is through our developed consciousness that we experience all the joy and the wonder and the amazing things that are available to us in this life on a more consistent basis. Through our developed consciousness, we begin to experience heaven. Play is one of the ways that we experience heaven within. Play brings joy, it brings excitement, it brings laughter and fun. And play often, often involves connection. 
It involves being with somebody else, experiencing that joy with someone else. We're interacting with other beings on the on this path and we are having a shared experience. And play is all about connection, a laughter, joy, connecting with other people. That's what we get when we play. And play gives us an opportunity to relax a little bit, to let down our guard, to um, let loose that side of us that not everybody gets to see. So as we're wrapping up the month of May here, we're going to spend a little bit of time exploring a different aspect of play. And this is the aspect of relaxation. And I'm incorporating in that a little bit of the rest because rest and relaxation are critical to play. If we're all tense and thinking about the busyness of our life, we are not likely to be engaging in play and we're certainly not going to be relaxed. So the talk talk title for this week is um, I'll Rest When I'm Dead and Other Lies I Tell Myself. I think that resting and relaxing is one of the most critical things that we do in our lives. To get to that time, to get that time to disconnect from our hectic lives in a conscious, deliberate attempt to give ourselves some breathing space can often be one of the most important things we ever do. But it's also one of the things that we judge ourselves the most on. And certainly other people have a tendency to judge us about it too. You know, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, and we should be busy, and we should be earning, and we should be working, and we should be striving. We negate this opportunity to rest and relax so often in our lives because we are so tied into the hurriedness of the world. And in this fast-paced, hurry, hurry, hurry world that we live in, doing is praised much more than being. And I'm sure most of you have heard that phrase, you're a human being, not a human doing. But here we are doing. We are striving. We're working our fingers to the bones. And all of this is highly praised in our Western society. It's not praised in all societies. There are lots of cultures where, where the value of rest and relaxation and play is appreciated just as much as anything that we do to uh, work and strive and earn. But here in our Western culture, we often denigrate the idea of rest and play. It's not something we should be doing very often. We're hesitant to give ourselves the downtime that we need to reach that state of heaven within, that, that state of, of experiencing heaven through our consciousness. You know, one of my favorite authors, Brene Brown, writes, It takes courage to say yes to rest and play in a culture where exhaustion is seen as a status symbol. It takes courage. It takes courage to say yes to playing, to resting, to giving ourselves a break. Because our society that we live in often values striving much more. We live in a society that values productivity over almost everything else. And I believe this is one of the biggest con contributing factors to some of the health crises that we experience in this world because we're not giving ourselves the time to physically rest and rejuvenate. Rest is needed for, the, for our bodies, completely needed for our bodies. It is a valuable aspect in determining the quality of our lives, and it is absolutely essential for our souls. Now, most of us have experienced the value of rest with our bodies when our bodies get to that breaking point where we can't do anymore and we can do nothing else but rest. And then we feel better afterwards. Performance athletes know the value of rest. They will work hard and then rest because they have to allow their muscles time to rejuvenate, for the cellular damage to be repaired and for the muscles to rebuild themselves. Rest helps us heal our bodies. It gives us time for that cellular regeneration. It gives us time to relax the tightness and the tenseness and, um, and allow our bodies to be more in the flow. Rest helps us reduce our stress levels that we experience in our lives. In our high, high stress world that we're living in, we often experience stress because we are not simply taking the time to rest. Most, most faith traditions advocate a period of time to be still, 
to rest to quiet the mind. Time in the silence, short time, extended periods of silence, periods of sabbatical where we go away for many, many days at a time. Rest is essential for our inner and outer creativity. It's essential for us to be able to problem solve. Honestly, let's face it, our minds work a little bit better when we are not exhausted. And there's no question that we could all use a little more rest in our lives, and yet we resist it. As a society, we resist it. I think there's some of us, some among us that have learned the value of rest and schedule it into their time in a more concrete, proactive way. I'm still at the place where I have a tendency to uh, do it as a response to exhaustion, but I'm getting better with it. I do take my time in the morning to meditate and, and, and be still, but then I get wrapped up in my busyness and have a tendency to keep going until my body says that's enough. <laughs> so, you know, our frenzied Western culture tells us that we don't have time to waste, that we need to be catching up, that we need to be getting ahead that we need to do the most and to be the most. And for goodness sakes, never settle for anything but the best. We're always striving for more and more and more. More money, more success, more praise, more attention. And this never-ending quest to do more and have more drains us. But taking that time to rest and relax gives us an opportunity to rejuvenate our souls. You know, in our fast-paced world, we're often too busy to even to take the time to be more self-reflective. We don't even take the time to um, think about where we are right now and where we want to go. But if we're thinking about where we want to go, it's often in reaction to, I'll do that when I've crossed everything off my list that I need to do. I'll do that when I retire. I'll do that when I'm in a relationship. I'll do that when I have more money. I'll do that when I'm in better health. I'll do that when I've lost weight. I'll rest when I'm dead. We miss out so much on our lives by putting it off simply because we're too busy to do it right now. We make ourselves too busy to engage in this experience of, of spaciousness in our lives that is available when we are relaxing, we are resting, when we are giving ourselves that place to Take the time, take the opportunity to go within, to check in with ourselves, to check in with our bodies and see what our bodies need, to check in with our consciousness, to check in with our soul and see where it's, what is yearning to be experienced in that. If we are never still, we will never know what it is that is happening through us. We keep ourselves so busy that we can't see the, so the solutions to our challenges because we get so busy and caught up in the situation. We get caught up in the drama, in the fear, in the doingness of it, that we can't see any other outcomes other than what we're experiencing right now. One of my favorite um, people on the planet who just, he just recently left us is the Vietnamese Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh. And he says this, it is very important that we relearn the art of resting and relaxing. Not only does it prevent the onset of many illnesses that develop through chronic tension and worrying, it allows us to clear our minds, focus, and find creative solutions to problems. If we're caught up in the problem, it is very hard to see the solution. But rest allows us to see possibilities when the exhaustion of doing is clouding our minds. Our theme this year is living everyday wonder. And nothing is more wonderful than resting in the one, resting in that one creative dynamic presence, that universal love intelligence, that divine creator of all, who we take the time and be silent and go within and connect with that indwelling presence. Wonderful things emerge through us. We get insight that we probably never would have had before. We see possibilities where before we saw nothing but problems. We see hope in the midst of all of our fears and doubts. 
we see that we are intimately and divinely connected to that one presence at all times when we are quiet, when we allow ourselves to rest, when we relax from the stress of our day and we go within, that's when everything is available to us. That's when all possibility is available to us. That's how we create heaven within us. To the degree that we become consciously aware of it. And we can't become aware of it if we are busy doing. We can only become aware of it when we are still. When we rest, when we relax. When we give ourselves a break. From all of the busyness of our world. You know, our theme this year is living everyday wonder. And nothing is more wonderful than resting in this presence, in this power. Our founder, Ernest Holmes, wrote, Spiritual experiences come in the stillness of the soul when the outer voice is quiet. It is a quickening of the inner being to an eternal reality. Spiritual experiences come in the stillness of the soul when the outer voice is quiet. This quickening that he speaks of is a door to mystical experience, to the cosmic unitive consciousness that shows up as that very palpable truth, that thing that we know that we can't unknow once we know it. And that truth is that we are all one, and that nothing exists outside of this one, that it is all God, it is all love, it is all perfection, it is all divinity. And honestly, this is not something that we can teach. We can teach you practices. We can teach you the principles. But we can't teach you the experience. You have to get that for yourself. And the only way you're going to get that is to quiet your mind, to still your body, to take an opportunity to go within, to rest in that consciousness of one, to relax into that eternal grace that is constantly flowing through life and experience it for yourself. And then once you know, you'll never unknow. You will know that forever. When we are in this recognition of this truth, we are ourselves invited by spirit to become a revealer of truth. And it appears to us as intuition, as that sacred knowingness, as a deep yes to everything that is good. And with it comes that peace that passeth all understanding. And we become a beneficial presence for all whom we meet. Is that something you want to get behind? Is that something you want for yourself? Do you want a life where you are guided by intuition, by your sacred knowingness? Are you willing to make that deep yes to all that is good in your life? And to be a place of peace in this world. And our world is going through quite a bit right now. Just, just a little, little nugget of it is what's happening in the Ukraine. And that is so much more. We have an opportunity to be a place of peace every single moment. And when someone else is in distress, they can tap into that uni universal consciousness and align with the peace that is within us and feel that presence themselves. That's our work in this world. But we can't keep doing it when we're busy doing. We have to get to a place where we are still where we're quiet, where we're going within and tapping into that universal presence. This idea of rest, of being silent, of clearing the mind and allowing ourselves to drop in deep into consciousness is an overriding theme in all of the work of Dr. Ernest Holmes. Dr. Holmes knew the power of relaxation. He knew the power of allowing ourselves to become still enough that we could tap into that inner wisdom that's there within us. And he knew that without rest, these moments of deep connection are, that would not be available to us. 
We need to still our minds. We need to still our bodies. Otherwise, we are subject to all of the race consciousness and false beliefs that surround us on a daily basis. We are susceptible to the fear and to the doubt and to the worry and to all of those things that we don't want to be experiencing. If we're keeping ourselves so busy, then we are subject to them. We need to be able to come, become still and allow ourselves to go deep within. I'm not sure many of you are aware of this, but Ernest Holmes is also a poet. In fact, he has a whole book of poetry, an epic poem called The Voice Celestial. But he begins the Science of Mind textbook with a profound poem. And he put this idea of rest, of becoming still and connecting in the very opening pages of this pivotal work of his. Now this book, The Science of Mind, is the basis of our philosophy. It's the basis of all we teach and practice here at Centers for Spiritual Living. And so today I'd like to end this talk with the opening passages from the Science of Mind textbook by Reverend Dr. Ernest Holmes. This is a poem called, Peace Be Unto Thee. Peace be unto thee, stranger. Enter and be not afraid. I have left the gate open, and thou art welcome to my home. There is room in my house for all. I have swept the hearth and lighted the fire. The room is warm and cheerful, and you will find comfort and rest within. The table is laid, and the fruits of life are spread before thee. The wine is here also, it sparkles in the light. I have set a chair for you where the sunbeams dance through, through the shade. Sit and rest and refresh your soul. Eat of the fruit and drink of the wine. All, all is yours and you are welcome. Let's take this into prayer. And so right here and right now, I know that there is only one, one power, one presence, one divine creative force, one love intelligence that has brought forth everything into existence, that is the isness and the allness of all creation. I know this one as a presence of peace, of love, of infinite intelligence, I know this one is in and through all creation. Therefore, I know it is in me. I know that I am one with this one, that the power and the presence of the divine rest inside of my being, readily available for me to drop into it and allow itself to reveal all that I need to know and as I know this is true for me, I know this is true for everyone, that each one of us is that unique, perfect emanation of the one, endowed with all that God is, with that love, that intelligence, that peace, that wisdom, that clarity. I know this one expresses itself abundantly through each and every aspect of life. And so in complete realization of the power and the presence of the one manifested through all life, I speak my word. I know that each one of us is divinely connected to that one power and presence. And I know that we feel that connection deeply when we are relaxed, when we take the time to rest, to be still, to know that that power and presence is active in our life to the degree that we in engage with it is the degree to which we experience it. And I know that it is through our conscious connection with that one divine presence that all is manifested beautifully, perfectly, easily. That our lives unfold under grace, under divine ways. I know that we are constantly and continuously connected to this one and it is in the silence that we feel this connection. And it is in the rest 
that we experience peace. And I know this is true for each one of us, that each one of us is that place of peace. And so I know that that peace that we are emanating from within our being moves forth into this world, touching all lives, touching the area we call Ukraine and Russia, touching, touching every life that is affected by the turmoil that is happening in this area of our world. And all of the repercussions that we are experiencing in other areas of the world are also filled with that same divine eternal peace. For I know it is the truth of all life. And I know that as we become conscious of it, we experience it in greater ways. And so each one of us individually can become conscious of it right here and right now and be a beneficial presence to those who have yet not felt that conscious connection. I know that this is our world work and that we are amazingly equipped to do it. And so I just give great thanks for this. I give great thanks for this knowing, for this feeling, for this, this entire connection of spirit that I feel so tangibly right here and right now. And I release this word into the law, into that creative mind that always says yes, that knows no lack and no limitation. It simply does what it does. I let it go and I let it be. And so it is. Amen. Here at Center for Spirits Living Greater Las Vegas, we are a mission and vision driven community. We offer transformative educational opportunities, deep and meaningful moments of connection, uplifting Wednesday and Sunday services. We greatly appreciate your contributions that support the amazing work we're doing here in Southern Nevada. We have several easy ways you can contribute. We have text to give, Simply text the amount of your donation to our text to give number and you'll be prompted to enter your information. There's a link to our online donation page posted below this video where you can contribute by debit or credit card. And of course, you're always welcome to send a check to our office if that works better for you. All of your contributions go to support the great work that we're doing here in Greater Las Vegas community. Take those boots off the shelf Wipe that dust off yourself Even if you've been through hell, you're back It's time to separate the men from the boys And the women from the girls And the tools from the toys Even if you're freaking out, just relax Hey, before it gets too late Before the night is over before the world's awake, everything will change. I feel it coming on, starting like a fire. Tonight you lit the flame. Now everything will change. Back when it used to hurt, took you a little while just to find the words. Losing well, it sometimes burns, but you keep moving on. You gotta grow strong like you lead in the nation. Gotta make the best out of each situation. Get your hands up like it's a celebration, and you keep moving on. Singing, hey, before it gets too late, before the night is over, before the world's awake, everything will change. Feel it coming on, starting like a fire. Tonight we lit the flame. Now everything will change. Everything will change. Take those boots off the shelf. Wipe that dust off yourself. Even if you've been through hell, you're back. Hey, before it gets too late, before the night is over, before the world's awake, everything will change. I feel it coming on, starting like a fire. Tonight we live the flame. Now everything will change. Change. Everything will change. Ooh.
changes, it happens in stages We all have our story, just keep turning pages, yeah Everything will change Everything will change Thank you, Melissa. You always inspire and uplift us with your talent. And thank you for your generous gift in support of our center. We remain committed to serving you. Center for Spiritual Living, Greater Las Vegas, continues to provide enriching services, transformative classes, and powerful opportunities for connection within our community. Be sure to watch the announcements at the end of today's service for what's coming up in the weeks ahead. Now let's join together in a closing song before our benediction. What a great experience we've had looking at this idea of play and laughter and rest and relaxation this month. It truly is a joy to take these ideas and into our spiritual practices, into our principles, to find the ways that we can support our life and to support experiencing more wonder and joy in our lives through our through the work that we do here. So I hope you take the opportunity this week to find some time to play. And if you can't find some time to play, certainly take some time to rest and relax. Allow yourself to connect in consciousness with that indwelling presence. Remember, that only happens in the stillness. You got to be still to let it happen. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Blessings to everyone. Keep your eyes out for um, the newsletter and the e-blast that will be coming out regarding the upcoming um, opportunities you'll have to give us your input. I'm going to be doing a survey and then a series of community meetings to uh, to tap into the community and to find out what is really wanting to be birthed here as the new Center for Spiritual Living, Greater Las Vegas. This isn't about who we've been, folks. It's about what we're becoming. And what we're becoming is already magnificent. Have a beautiful and blessed week, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. monthly publication, Science of Mind magazine, is a treasure to be read and contemplated. Along with in-depth articles, there is a day-to-day -day spiritual support to be gleaned from its daily guides. Licensed practitioner Lynn Frankenberger hosts Adventures in Faith every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on Zoom, and you're invited to join in. This is a weekly group discussion that focuses on those daily guides and how to apply them. Check Facebook and our weekly newsletter for more details.
Excel Greater Las Vegas brings you much of your favorite spiritual music every Friday at 7 p.m. with Spiritual Soundscapes. Enjoy performances from CSL GLV vocalists along with special guest singers. It's music for your soul. Subscribe to the CSL GLV YouTube channel to get a convenient link sent to you for each musical performance. At CSL Greater Las Vegas, it is our mission to inspire spiritual discovery through community connection, exploration, and celebration. This mission supports the all-inclusive vision of Centers for Spiritual Living worldwide in which we envision a world that works for everyone and all of creation.